So uh, we added a couple more birds out here. Um, this is Rainbow. She's a gorgeous girl. Um, she's a single factor strangle, double factor yellow face. And this is her mate Aqua, who's a single factor yellow face normal. Um, they're a a um, a bonded pair. They've made it successfully before, and I just realized, you know, they haven't been um, done any breeding in like almost six months. It's time to put these two to work, huh? So they're in here. It took them no time at all to start looking at that box, um, and they make some beautiful babies. Okay, so things are looking up for Gray and his lady over here. They actually. She's become a lot less obsessive. He's become um, possessive. These two are both grays. Um, he's a normal gray. She is a cinnamon gray green. Um, so the yellow based colors are always dominant over the white based colors. So um, if she's not split to white, then all the babies will come out yellow. Um, he is supposed, she's also cinnamon, he's supposed to be cinnamon, so if he, I mean split to cinnamon, so if he is, we'll get cinnamon babies. She's opaline, he is not, that means none of the babies are going to be opaline. Um, here's Fancy in blue, uh, Fancy the yellow face, as you can see, with, and she's a single factor yellow face, so that means she has it to hand out to half of her babies. Blue is a normal blue, so half of their babies will be yellow faced, half of them will be white faced. Um, look at this. Um, Phantom's Lady has been going in that nest more and more. I'm going to start checking for eggs here pretty soon. Um, as far as their babies go, she's a normal. He is a dilute. Normal is dominant to dilute. So the babies will probably all look normal, but be split to dilute. And I have another male dilute um, out in the cage. It's not quite old enough to breed, but eventually we'll breed his babies to this guy's babies and get some third generation dilutes. Um, so that's what's going to come out of that little union. She is just gone. Um, here's Sprite, and his lady is also gone. She's in that nest. I don't think there's any eggs yet. But something's coming. So, uh, Sprite is a single factor spangle, and his lady Fluffy is also a single fa factor spangle. But oh, there she is. Hi. Um, but she's also, as you see from that white spot, I mean from that spot on the back of her head, she's a pie. So, these guys could have a whole bunch of different combinations of spangle and pied. Everything from completely and totally normal chicks to double factor spangle chicks to dominant pied chicks to mix pied and spangle all kinds of different things um, I don't know again yellow is dominant to blue which means when you have two yellow birds you could end up with a blue baby if they're split to blue if they're both split to blue but uh, we'll find out if they're both split to blue one and four of their babies will come out white based blue instead of yellow based green um, so these two over here, um, here's a thing where, um, I can make a bird, I, we can make pretty babies with a homely bird. She's a cinnamon gray, she's very big, she's very tall, and she has a nice form, um, and what her fellow over here brings to this, oh, who is, um, Porky, he seems to be kind of sleepy today. Um, what he brings to this is all kinds of pretty mutations. He brings Spangle to it. He brings, um, he's a pied. He's a dominant pied. Um, so you can take, and he's not a cinnamon. So none of her babies are going to come out cinnamon. They're all going to be normal. Um, so you can take a, a bird that's a little homely like the gray and fancy it up with a Spangle or something like that. Um, gray is dominant to green, but... Yellow is dominant to white, so um, and she could be split to a whole lot of different things. I don't know. I've never bred her. So th what these guys are going to produce is up for grabs, but it, it should probably be kind of interesting. Um, these two, again, the yellow base is dominant to the the white base. So if um, Sunny there, our girl, is split to white, then some of the babies will be yellow and some will be white. If she's not split, 
then his white based blue will disappear and all their babies will be green based. I mean yellow based and green. Um, so, but he's opaline, so his daughters will all be opaline like him. Um, the only way any of his sons could be opaline is if Sonny's hiding some opaline in there underneath the Latino. Um, the only way the babies could be Latino is if he's hiding some Latino underneath his color. So, um, they're, they're a grab bag. I have no idea what could come out of this, and it could be just about anything. Um, let's see. And I think the only ones left are these two down here, who, again, we seem to be making some progress here. This is, um, Royal Violet and his girl Snow. And Snow is becoming a little less obsessive. They are spending more time in the nest box. She's a double factor spangle. She's not an albino. So what that means is that all of her babies will be single factor spangle because uh, Royal doesn't have any spangle in them. Um, he is um, white based. She's white based. All of the babies will be white based. A white based bird cannot be split to yellow. So all of these babies are going to be white based. He's violet. If he's a double factor violet, all the babies will be violet like him. If he's a single factor, half of them will be violet and half of them will be blue. So it depends on what comes out. What I'm really interested in here with these two is I believe they are both split to recessive pied. I would love to see a recessive pied pick come out of these two. That's the big wait for. Um, if they're both split to recessive pied, then about one in four of their chicks should come out recessive pied. But that doesn't mean they'll have one every single time. So I may have to breed them two or three times to, to find out whether or not a recessive pied is going to happen. Because there's a, a certain amount of luck of a draw. So that's what's happening. Um, these two, uh, uh, she's a single factor spangle. Double factor a yellow face. He's a single factor yellow face. So her single factor spangle means that half of their offspring will be um, spangles like her, and the other half will be normals like him. The fact that she's a, a double factor yellow face and he's a single factor means that all of their babies will be yellow face. Half of them will be double factor yellow face, and half of them will be single factor yellow face. Um, they just make beautiful babies. She's, she's what you would call a, um, a rainbow that's based in spangle rather than being an opaline rainbow. Um, just as beautiful. Um, maybe not, uh, I, I'm not sure that the Budgie Association allows me to label her as a rainbow, but, um, I could show her as a double factor yellow face. So, um, okay, that's what we're looking to get out here.